Virginia. Where are you from? Well, I'm from the Ann Arbor uh, Union Congregation, so is Gene here. Uh huh. And is that where uh, Reverend Gail Guyton is? It is. It is. Well, Gail was the minister who succeeded me at my first church in Vero Beach, Florida. Oh, okay. And so, uh, please say hi to her for me when you see her. Is she? I think she's here. She is. No, she's not. Well, then, when you get back home, say hi. For me. I'm Marlene Brown from the Long Beach Unitarian Universalist Church, and I'm the usher coordinator at GA. And Jean is one of my favorite attendees. See you later. I gotta go to work. My name is Patty Cameron, and I'm the coordinator for accessibility services here at General Services provides mobility and listening and vision um, equipment so that people with needs can be, their experiences enhanced because that they can fully participate in the general he gets here in the next Wonderful. 20 minutes. Who are the usual suspects here? The, the, our usual suspects are our fabulous volunteers. Hi, how are you? Wave to the camera. Excuse me, I'm an unusual suspect. <laughs> Um, this is a good one. <laughs> I will give you this as well. Hey, George. This is about our envoy program. Yes, I'm sorry, I forgot. Hi, Jane. George, you're interrupting this conversation oh, here. Oh, terribly sorry. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Continue. So, yeah, kind of. Thing? Okay. So, this is a sheet. Hello, I'm Jeanette Lallier, and this is the booth for the Unitarian Universalist Ministers Association. So, um, and we're a professional organization to, to support UU ministers. We provide continuing education, collegiality, um, and we collaborate with other organizations to keep the ministry of Unitarian Universalism strong. Like other coastland and wetland dwellers, I've learned that the impacts of climate change are felt most harshly by the most vulnerable so, so occasionally what someone does is they think they can vote for more than run one and they write two numbers in there. If you do, your ballot will not be counted. You get to vote for one. Being a non-denominational pagan that I had found, if not a spiritual home, then a home in which my personal beliefs would be respected and our shared belief in social justice could be realized. And it's fabulous raising our kids in it and I think they're going to be better human beings because of it. We certainly hope so. Okay. All right, so uh, Two Degrees is the first buy one, give one food company, which means that every single Two Degrees bar we sell, we donate a meal to a hungry child. Um, we work with big nonprofit partners like Partners in Health, Relief International, IMA World Health, Triopatra, and, and a few others to, uh, to donate the meals that we, uh, that we give to children. So uh, right now we have four flavors of bars. We have chocolate banana, cherry almond, apple pecan, and chocolate peanut. They're all, all natural, gluten-free, vegan, really healthy, simple ingredients. And uh, we just started a fundraising initiative with the UUSC um, in hopes of selling 100,000 bars to donate 100,000 meals. So congregations can order bars from us at wholesale price um, and then resell them at coffee hour, uh, fundraising events. And you can also work with the youth groups and have them sell bars uh, and basically Girl Scout style, um, going door to door. So there's lots of options to get involved and lots of ways to raise money for your church and help hungry kids. So uh, check out our website, www.2degreesfood.com slash UUSC.